Hi guys, Benek here, and yeah, that's not gonna be a video about the new Nintendo 3DS XL or the PS Vita or the new Nintendo 2DS XL Pokemon Edition, and yeah, I have also the PSP here, what a classic. Alright, guys, focus. This is gonna be a video about the latest Unix 703 version 1.5 that just arrived a couple of days ago, right? So, if you want to find out what are the new things, what you can do with the latest Unix, yeah, just... Okay, stay tuned and we have to find out together. Alright, stay safe, buckle up and enjoy this video. Okay, we need to start first with downloading it, so I'm just going to the link here, but... Initiating download is one thing and another thing is reading the changelog and this time there is a plenty of changelog Take a look fixed AES on the OnePlus 7 series and most of Xiaomi Devices thanks to BSG for the base code, Savita for stream values of AIS and Anova for having implementation this code for the first time on the OnePlus and Samsung devices Now you might wonder what is this thing called EIS and I can tell it's electronic image Stabilization. All right, so now apparently you can turn this on and enjoy it. If you have a Mi 10, guys, yeah, then you're a lucky guy. You can fix apparently crashes on your Mi 10. Added also the option to enable and disable OIS. And if you wonder what the hell is OIS, it's optical image stabilization. So just mark EIS, electronic image stabilization, and OIS, optical image stabilization. Of course, if your phone has it because the Mi 9 doesn't have it. Added a dynamic code that changes the name of each aux lens depending on the device, added five lenses on the device which support them, added separate lip patcher for all five lenses, hidden the options to show the fourth and fifth lens and the corresponding lip patcher on all devices that I don't personally support. This means yearnings. With that said guys, it's already downloaded, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press save downloads and then usually, usually I always do this. And then guys, we know we need to remove the previous version if you're not using a clone version, so I just hit here up info, I go to four stop, I then go to storage and cache, clear storage, and then I go back, I go uninstall, and now I don't have any Google camera 703, the last one I was using was from Arnova, and I'm going now to my files, I went to my files guys, and install the APK, so I just press open here, and boom, there it is, and for the very first time here, Unix 7.3 version 1.5, starting for the first time, Allow camera to take pictures and record video, of course, allow allow only while using the app, of course, then allow again, allow again, and to show you that I'm not kidding, I'm always doing this, guys. Go to the settings, and scroll down, go to info, and now we can see Gcam 7.3.0.18 by Unix 05 version 1.5. All right, this is the thing, guys, this is the latest thing. Let's see now all the settings, save location on, camera sounds, don't like this one, Google length suggestion you can keep to own. Framing hints quite good if you want to shoot like this or like this. The phone will prompt you and give you some guides. Safe, selfie as preview, okay. Social share, I cannot emphasize all that. I, I don't understand why they keep it default on, oh, of course. And gestures, okay. Grid type, maybe you're gonna go for three by three. Frequent faces off, do not disturb access off. Yeah, this is while you're doing a video. I don't think that this works quite okay. Then you go to advanced and we have a lot of things here. Short dirty lenses, HDR control, very important. Let's enable it. RAW and JPEG guys, I cannot repeat myself, RAW doesn't work on Gcam 7, so just don't use it. Store videos efficiently, I think that's a good option guys, H265, I do prefer it, again this option still not included into the OnePlus stock camera, what a pity, so I enable that one. Lip Parcher, wow, let's go here, wow, Lip Parcher, enable Lip Parcher, Tone Curve, Black Camera, Telephone Lens, White Lens, again guys, don't use those one if you don't have a routed phone with the AUX mode enabled, okay? And then we have HDR frames, we can keep it to medium, 15 or 25, disable zoom in portrait mode, and auxiliary camera, again, don't switch this off if you don't really have a routed phone and a model to have those things enabled. But let's go now to video. The interesting options, guys. Video stabilization, aha, now guys, the video stabilization here is actually the one that is the EIS or the electronic image stabilization. So if we turn this off, we can do a test video and see if the video is gonna be shaky or flaky. So let me try to do one. Going to video, we are now at 60 frames per second. Okay, and you see guys, even in the viewfinder, I think the result is not so good. So video right now without image stabilization, no electronic image stabilization, no optical, let's see. Okay, and you see guys, even in the viewfinder, yeah, I not think good. the result is not so good. Not good. And guys, I can tell you, I did two more videos. Now this one is just with the electronic image stabilization. 
see how better is that. Just trying to test the stabilization, guys. Yeah. And the one in the middle that I did, right, is actually with OIS on. And let's see that same. one. Oh, wow. And you can see, even in the few variables. You can see the difference, yeah, right? Even in the same. Okay. Now, optical image stabilization. See. This here without any kind okay, of stabilization. And you see, guys, even in the viewfinder, I think the result right. is not so. Okay. Let's do it again. The same. It's better. Oh, and you can see, even in the. Anyway, guys, let's go back to the camera. And now let's do some tests, guys, so that we are able to see the quality of the camera. We are now running HDR Plus and Google Auto White buttons is set to automatic. So let me just point to here. Take one picture. See the picture? Now, I have the feeling that the colors are a little bit... Yeah, see? Yeah, okay, no, no, they're not. I, I thought washed off, but it's not the case, all right? It's not the case. So we have here this recommended XMLs that we can use with the Euronix 703. So we have one from Nameless that is kind of like for main usage, one again from Nameless for portrait and selfie, one from whom, again, emphasis is on the main usage. And then we have one from six arm priests, again, for main usage. I have already downloaded the whom XML version 1.5. So let's open the Google camera, all right? Double click here, guys, you know what to do, all right? And then we have to choose whom, whom, where it is. Cannot find it still. I know, I have too much XMLs, all right? But that's it, I just do a lot of testing. Here, guys, Euronix 7.3 version 1.5 Home version 2, boom. Let's restore it, which means now all the settings are applied. And I can just show you guys, if you go to settings and apparently go to advanced and we go into lip puncture, you're gonna see, let's say tone curve, settings applied back camera settings applied now let's try to do another picture guys with hdr plus using this xml on this beautiful flower and see if there's going to be any changes all right okay pressing like this okay pick taken oh wow no color definitely standing out you see very natural very real colors standing out all right let's do some more tests i'm gonna bring now the nintendo 2DS XL, you know, the new one, a Pokemon edition. I like the colors. Let's try to do again A4 here. You know, what I like is it has black, sorry, cut. What I like is it has white and red colors. Very nice contrast indeed. So I am doing just like this. All right, so you can see what I'm doing here. And now guys, showing the result to you. Where it is, here. Now, okay, that's interesting. All right, you see, you see what I mean here? Now this is the real color and this is kind of the test. And from what I see guys, yeah, it does, it's, it's a little bit different. It's not so, it's not so real, you know? But we have the Google Auto White balance enabled, maybe that's the reason. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to kill the Google Auto One balance, put it to off and do another picture so that we are just sure. So let's do like that, okay? Let's just try to lock the frame. Another photo guys, this one here is with the auto balance off and this one is with the auto balance on. And although guys, you might think there is no difference, I can clearly see this with my eyes. And honestly, I do prefer the one that is with the auto white balance on because it is more vivid. So again, the colors here are a little bit more washed out. This here is definitely better and definitely close to the real colors. Although I know it doesn't look like this. And actually guys, with that said, I don't think there are many new things. Very important now for the latest Unix is that the electronic image stabilization works. The optical image stabilization now finally is a toggle on and off. And with that said, yeah, stay safe, stay at home. If you have content like this, just play it, whatever. Just do everything that is needed, but don't go outside, guys. I hope you're going to be safe, you and your families. Again, have a very nice rest of the day. Have a very nice weekend ahead of you. Stay home, stay safe. And with that said, thank you very much for watching my videos. VST over and bye.